We're going to go ahead and take a look at TechSmith's new Snagit 11.4 screen capture program. If you guys aren't familiar with Snagit, um, it's one of the most popular, most useful uh, screen capture programs out there. It's one of my favorites, and I went ahead and downloaded the free trial of 11.4. This is a website where you can download the trial. I will post a link on the description of the video for this website so you can download it also. But once you download and install it, this is what it looks like here. And uh, do image, text. All right, first let's go ahead and test the image here. Um, you can choose here. Um, you can choose up here image, video, or text, or down here also. It doesn't matter. And you can also share via screencast, Google Drive, and much more. And it also has a Snagit editor, which will appear after you're done doing with, uh, the capture you're going to do. So to, to capture something, go ahead and choose what you want, image, text, or video, and click on the red uh, button. It will then show you a region, like so right here. And now you can choose whatever you want. Let's say you wanted to get these little pie, uh, pie charts over here. Click, and then drag and get what you want, just as an example. And there it is, bam. We got the capture, and now it opened up the editor. From here, you can go ahead and edit however you want. I'm not that familiar with the editor, but I'm pretty sure you could do a lot with it. Um, so go ahead and play with it if you want to, you know, edit it. You can also use Paint. I use, I'm familiar more with Paint, but uh, you can also edit with this here, which is really, really cool. All right. If you want to save it, click on the little File tab. Click Save As. And you could choose a Snagit file format or a standard format. When you select standard format, you can actually choose once it comes up here. You could choose right here on the just drop down list. You can choose uh, JPEG, PNG, PDF, which I didn't know they had PDF till now. Wow, that's awesome. It does PDF, TIF, uh, SWF, anything you want here will have it. You name it whatever you want, where you want to save it, click save, and it's saved. Same thing goes with the video. All right, let's go ahead and uh, test the text this time. We're going to go ahead and uh, get some text. I'm looking at a World War III article here. <laughs> and what's going on in Russia and Ukraine right now? You know, Russia troops may be massing to invade Ukraine. Wow, that is crazy. But let's go ahead and uh, capture the text here of this article. Wow, what happened here? Ah, let's go back up. Computer's running slow. All right, let's go back to snag it. We're going to do text, click on the red T button, and let's go ahead and get this text right here. All right, so basically what it's going to do is going to get the text, and we can take a look at the text, and we can actually modify it. For example, I'm going to type in here World War Three. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Three. You know, you can come in here, you can erase. So you basically capture text, and you can just copy and paste it wherever you want, which is awesome. And it has uh, the toolbar up here to do whatever you want with it. And when you save this, I'm pretty sure you can save it as... Uh, I think you can only save it as an image. As you can see. Oh, a rich text file. Awesome. You can actually save it as a text file. That is awesome right there. All right. And let's go ahead and try out the video. So video works the same way. Just choose what you want to capture here let's capture this as a video just as an example and this will come up here uh, you can actually move it around wherever you want click on the record button right here you can see my microphone going up and down you can set all this the way you want it click on record and it'll start to record and it's recording right now mic check one two one two mic check all right let's stop it and finalizing video. All right, let's test it out. Let's play it. And it's recording right now. Mic check. One I can hear my voice. And if, cool. Right. Looks like the video worked. And same thing. File, save as. And this time it's going to save it as MP4. So when you save the video, it's going to be an MP4 fi file format. So that's how easy it is to use Snagit and Snagit is so cool. I love Snagit, how easy it is to use. It hasn't changed much. Now that this new version 11.4 still looks the same. That's awesome. All right, that's pretty much it. I give this program a really good review. Let's go ahead and uh, check how much it costs. All right, let's go ahead and click on buy now and I need to see how much it costs. 
because I really like it. So 50 bucks for, okay, if you buy more than five, you can save, but one copy is 50 bucks, 49.95 estimated at $50. Uh, I say it's fair price. It's a really good program. Works really good as you saw a while ago. Uh, I can see it being a really good, useful program for you bloggers out there or people that like to see uh, articles. The text part of it is very, very useful. Just being able to capture text and then copy and paste like that, that's awesome. Of course, you can copy and paste using the mouse too. So, um, yeah, the price is fair. Uh, there are free programs out there like Free Screen to Video and Cam Studio, which can record the screen. Those are free. But if you really would like the program, the price is not bad. All right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more uh, cool videos. Thanks for watching and uh, have a good rest of your day.